Now look at a concept of the length of a tangent from a point outside. So we've seen, uh, you know, you have a point outside the circle uh, and uh, you have a tangent. How do you find the equation of the tangent? We've already seen that, uh, you know, you take the equation of the tangent equal to y is equal to mx plus uh, a into under root 1 plus m square. Put that in this, uh, you know, uh, make it pass through the point x1, y1. Make a quadratic in m, solve it uh, and uh, get the equation of the tangent. Now I need to find out how to find the length of that tangent. So in my case, uh, the tangent is striking the circle here at O. It is starting from O. So this PO is what I call, this PO is what I call as the length of the tangent. How do I find this out? So for that, I've, this time I've taken uh, the general equation of a circle, not x square plus y square equal to a square. The result that I will derive is anyways valid for this circle also, but just uh, for, you know, generality, uh, I've taken uh, uh, x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0. Now from this it should be clear. What is the center of the circle? Minus g comma minus f. We have already seen that. So you have co which is the radius. Uh, so co this is your radius and formula for this is under root g square plus f square minus c. We have seen this as well. And uh, cp you can find out uh, using the uh, distance between two points form. So cp you can find out. You have two points. Find out the distance between them. Co is basically your radius. By applying Pythagoras theorem, uh, PO square should be equal to CP square minus CO square. This is your hypotenuse, right? CP is your hypotenuse. So when you put in the values and solve it, you will get the length of the tangent PO to be equal to this quantity, right? X1 square plus Y1 square plus 2GX1 plus 2FY1 plus C is equal to zero. I would like to say that length of tangent is under root S11. Now, I hope you already know what S11 is. We've, we've already discussed that. Does S11 and this quantity, are they the same? The answer is yes. What does S11 mean? It simply means you pick up the point and you put it in the curves equation. So uh, I pick up the point x1, y1 and I put it in the curves equation x1 square plus y1 square plus 2gx1 plus 2fy1 plus c. And that's what this is, right? So under root S11 is the length of the tangent. So next time when you see a circle and uh, when you have a point outside, right? x1 y1 and uh, you have the circles equation you simply do s11 and take the square root of it this quantity will give you the length of the tangent that you know comes from p so whether you take this tangent or, or whether you take this tangent doesn't matter both of them will have the same length this is coming from your 10th class right so whether i take this one or whether i take this one this and this will be this po and let this be m so pm will be equal to po it has to be this is coming from your 10th class Right, it's, you've already seen that. So uh, this was what the length of a tangent from a point outside was. Let's move on to the next subtopic.